Man, what a long day, man. It's my second day here in uh, UG. Making some serious move. My way back to uh, the hotel. But, um, it was one of the biggest opportunity I see um, on the continent is whoever's gonna solve distribution and create efficiency in distribution of products, services, you know, within the value chain will be immensely successful. Uh, I keep looking around and see poor distribution of services in all levels in all levels, especially in the agricultural sector. Um, there's a lot of uh, lack of uh, distribution efficiently, actually, to the end user. And that's why cost is so expensive. And some of those companies will have to uh, build that value chain by themselves in the beginning. Um, in a lot of cases, they'll have to invest a lot of money. Excuse me, man. God damn. I gotta take the stairs. Whew. Some good exercise. I'm sweating like a pig. Gotta catch my breath for a second. But, uh, going back to what I was saying is the biggest creation of wealth will be those who wanna solve the distribution uh, challenges that exist on the continent. Agriculture is the biggest opportunity. But the second one, I think it's uh, digital services. Uh, also, you're looking at, uh, well, I would say, uh, I mean, construction, news, and a lot of them will be uh, on a digital fashion. So, uh, the first thing is, is to find out and design the whole value chain of that problem. And then find out where you can fit in, what you can be more efficient, but you'll have no competition. I don't know why we're so complacent about this poor distribution of services, but that's what's going on right now. Uh, I'm looking at street vendors right now. I wonder where they get their products and services. There must be at least 50, 60 people in that value chain that is not needed and especially with technology. I know some of those companies are working on it, but there's a need for a lot more companies to solve that problem. I wanted to share that quickly before I start forgetting uh, what I wanted to say, but yeah, man, distribution, there's so much opportunity in that. Unfortunately, it's not a cool business to get in and it's extremely challenging because the market is so fragmented. You know, you have a lot of, um, companies that are not even registered. Uh, you have to deal with mindset with farmers. And I'm talking about some of the experience. For us, for example, we deal with distribution of uh, digital services. Uh, you have a lack of innovation with the telecom companies. We distribute also government service, except in Rwanda, other countries still have a long way to go. But you're not building this distribution for today. You're preparing yourself for tomorrow. I remember Amazon took them a, a, a decade, over a decade, to become profitable. You know, you build the infrastructure. You have to invest a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of energy, you know, but you build this infrastructure. When you have the infrastructure, then you have everything. Then from there, you can build on top of that infrastructure, add more key services. That's exactly what Amazon did. And the same thing will happen in Africa. But you got to be patient, you know. This thing of being successful in distribution within a year or two is, is, is ludicrous. So you're gonna have to be really, really patient in that game. The good thing is very few players willing to play that game because it's a long-term game. And a lot of businesses are not into the long-term game. You're not gonna make money for 10, 15, even 20 years. But by the time you get to that infrastructure, I guarantee you every company will have to go through you depending what sector you're in. So just look at the whole vision. 
But if you're looking for a business opportunity, that's where I would be, man, because there's a huge need. Cost has to be cutting. You'll be saving a lot of money to the customer. But not only that, for, for perishable item, uh, especially for agricultural sector, for example, you save a lot of uh, uh, um, food not going to waste. 30 to 40% of some of the food goes to waste. That's just crazy to me. You know, by the time they get to the end user, it's already perished or it's about to be perished. You know, and I'm so shocked nobody's really want to get involved. At the same token, though, um, it's extremely expensive, you know, so I can understand why few people are willing to play that game because they have to raise a lot of money. Um, and we all know the game of raising money as an African company. But that's my, my thought, man. Uh, if you're looking for some business opportunity, I would look at that really, really carefully, you know. And you can start small. You don't have to solve the whole value chain. There's already a few players. You can come in and, and, and solve some of that value chain. You know, I know, for example, one of the value chain uh, that we need uh, help on, that we also trying to solve and we're looking to outsource is the maintenance part, but also the monitoring part of our agents and our kiosk, maintenance of our kiosk. You know, we're not interested in doing everything, but unfortunately, nobody is willing to play for the future. You know, they, everybody wants to play for today. They don't want to play for the future. You know, you can you can draw the vision. They can't see it. They have to see it in their eyes. You know that the the vision is already in there. So that's another uh, topic for another day. But going back to what I was saying, you know, if you don't have the resource to build the whole value chain, start with one and build on top of that. You know. But um, listen, post some comment if you're in that value chain. You know. Hey, put some of the experience you may have. I always love to network with people in a different aspect of business. It doesn't have to be in distribution, but innovation, technical technology, green tech, whatever. Put some comment, man. If you like what you're hearing, press like, you know. And if you want to hear more video, man, say what you want to hear. You know, I love to talk about topics that I have experience. I hate talking about stuff I don't know about. But if, if it's something I have some experience about that I've that I've seen and experienced in my business or other businesses, then I love to bring that topic to uh, to life.